and I pushed buttons and I got to see her really pissed at me. It's kind of a nice shit test in my opinion, because like if some girl ever complained to me, the ring is too small. The and value- like even with financial support, I've uh, helped her out on a couple of things early on. You know, some of you guys are going to rag on the comments post live here. You can say, oh, you're simping, you know, you shouldn't spend. But, but the thing is, you. this is why you got to know uh, the quality of the person you're dating. <laughs> We're getting up to the year mark. And I talked with Lubia and she was asking what I was doing for Christmas. And then we've been talking about getting married. And I'm like, yeah. And um uh, She's like, so when are you going to propose? And I'm like, um, I I originally had thought about on the one year mark or when we have met in person, um, but she's like, sooner than later would be better because we didn't meet in person until um, July. Right, right. Because she had us, so she was going home, and then she had some travels for work and stuff like that. So mm-hmm. um, we in July is when we met in Krakow. We spent a week there, and it went really well. And then pretty much from that point on, it was just like we never stopped talking to each other um, almost every day, video chatting, because, you know, you just can't do it every day. Something happens, time difference and everything. Yeah. Um, Yeah. Cool. And then we uh, barely three months later, I mean, as soon as we left, it was hard. And then three months later, I I had already as soon as we, we left Poland and I got home, I'd already booked our next trip just to meet. And we did a. 10 day cruise in the Mediterranean. So if you really want to get to know somebody get stuck on a boat <laughs> <laughs> and I pushed buttons and I got to see her really pissed at me and it was my own doing at the same time, but I got to see it and we just worked through it and talked and we yeah. got through it. No issues. Um, and so I'm going yeah. back for, yep, yeah, I'm good. going back for Christmas and I'll be there through the new years. I'll be there for three weeks. Uh, so I got my work to okay to work abroad from time to time. So nice. Yeah, and where, so. Are you, where are you going over the Christmas holidays? Uh, to her house in UK. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 So we'll be there. I'll be there for three weeks. Okay. Yeah. 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 And we're just working nice. on getting the travel visa for her um, just because of the you for you. She can't come back if she leaves, which is the issue. Yeah. Um, and if something happens, she needs to go home. Yeah. And I can't say, no, you can't go back to your family. I mean, that would be messed up. I wouldn't want somebody to tell me that either. Uh, so we're going through that route. She already has a travel visa for Canada, so there's no reason why she's not going to get the one for the U.S. Uh, we just have to wait for the interview date. Yeah, yeah. Actually, Anna's doing that too. Uh, that's the problem, the interview date. Yeah, it, 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 she yeah. waited a little too long, and then as fast as she was clicking on dates um, on the day she was picking it was as fast as they were disappearing. Yeah, in, in Vancouver, it's two years now. So Anna's actually flying to <laughs> Germany. To, to get her interview in Germany. Yeah. Oh man. Crazy. Yeah. Because um, they want to, I mean, they want to interview us at national geographic and I want to be with Anna. Right. So we yeah. re- really need to get it like yesterday. So hopefully she gets a pretty quick date. So she gets it approved. Yeah. Yeah. It's supposed to be in. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure. Uh, January anyway, mid January, something like that. Well, her mom's coming. So Anyway, that's that's all. I mean, sounds sounds good, Steve. Sounds like everything's yeah, so coming together. I picked up a promise ring because uh, I wanted to show. Because I I know when I told Lubia, she's like, "Yeah, that's not a Ukrainian thing here. It's a more of a Western or American thing." And I'm like, "Yeah," Correct. and that's kind of how I was raised on the old school traditions. Yeah, uh, it's just to let her know yeah. this is coming. This proposal is coming. Just I don't want her to think that it's not coming. It's in the works. You know, yeah, I like. I told pro- her. I wanted- are you going to propose over the holidays? I'm going to give her the ring. I don't know if, I'm, if I just want to turn it into a proposal. It's not like a wild diamond ring. It's a sapphire and stone in the center with small diamonds around the band. Okay. Because um, blue, blue's our favorite color, which is why I got the sapphire. Yeah. Um, yeah. But what I call it an engagement ring. No, but I can make it with that and then get a better ring later on. Um what, why not? I mean, I, I mean, I, do you feel like you're ready to take that next step of marriage proposal? Um, after our cruise uh, that we were on, yeah. Um, at that point, you know, she endured me for 10 days and I endured her. Um, we went through all the ups and downs through that. And, and even at a distance, you know, we're working through, if we have an issue, we work through it, we talk. Um, 
some days, you know, our communication may not be the best over others, but that's your normal ebb and flow of a relationship. Um, yeah. And, but we, we figure it out. We hear each other out and we talk through it and we come up with our solutions. Okay. Well, if you feel ready for it, um, that's my only concern is like I say that she feels like you're moving towards the marriage goal, right? Yeah. So at promise ring, it's, it's a, it's a nothing in Ukraine. Yeah. They don't even most of them know like, what is that? What does that mean? Promise? What? because again, it, it might, it, it might come across like um like you got cold feet like wh- why it's a promise not a proposal yeah i'm sure she's gonna wonder that yeah and that's why i've been thinking should i just flip it from being a promise and then doing it as a proposal instead and i'm, I'm gonna be there christmas morning i'm leaving here christmas eve in the morning and i'm gonna be those idiots you see on the tv <laughs> stuck in holiday traffic flying somewhere uh, but i'm getting there christmas morning so that's kind of like a good Christmas to wake up to is like, I'm going to see her and she's getting me uh, on Christmas day. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. I mean, um, I like the idea. If you're bouncing it off of me, switch it from a, from a, uh, a promise ring to a proposal. Yeah. With yeah. the same ring. I mean, you, I mean, <laughs> It's it's kind of a nice shit test in my opinion because like if some girl ever complained to me the ring is too small I don't know man I I can't yeah, I've never myself. got that materialism from her she's never been that like materialistic yeah. oh good good because as I say if that happened to me I, yeah I can't see me continuing on with that relationship I just yeah uh, yeah no it's just and it's it like just makes me cringe even just thinking about it like. <laughs> Really? I'm proposing marriage and you're like, bitch. The, the yeah, like, you know, with financial support, I've uh, helped her out on a couple of things early on. Um, in UK, you have like a, like a biometric card or something like that, that she has basically to say that she could be there. It's kind of like a, a permanent visa type thing, I guess. Um, she lost that with her passport at the airport when she got back to UK. Mm-hmm. Um but uh, she's like, this is how she can get it and get it quickly. And I'm like, well, tell me what you need. And she's like, uh, can you loan me some money? And I wasn't going to loan it to her. I was just going to give it to her. I, I, so I just like, here you go. Here's here's money with some extra just to cover whatever expenses. Uh, and then like with her travel visa, um, it was all at that same time she was getting it taken care of. And so uh, she has an agency taking care of it for her. Um, yeah. so yeah. like, here you go, uh, take care of it. And then she's like, okay, I got money to pay you back. I'm like, don't pay me back use that money, buy your plane ticket with it. Cause that's what I would wind up doing anyways. And to Good get to move. Good yeah, move. I'm on use that, buy your, buy your plane ticket to Italy. Cause that's where we met up last and then use the rest of it for spending money on her trip. <laughs> nice. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. You know, I mean, yeah. if Can she would have get. Can I ask when did you give it, give her these monies for the this, this money for the visas and the, like how many months into the relationship? So we met uh, July right after the Fourth of July, and uh, I left. We left Krakow. I think it was July tenth, right around there. Sounds about right. And she went from there to um, Kiev for two weeks. And then to Romania for a couple of days, then to Dubai for two weeks. And then that's when she lost it, was on her way home. So it was about a month in. Uh, a I month offic- into your relationship? A month into hey, your I mean, relationship? If, if you go by a month in from when we met, if you go by from when we started talking and building everything, then it was like yeah. four months in. Okay, four months in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And see, guys watching, this is what I mean. You, you know, some of you guys are going to rag on the comments post live here you can say oh you're simping you know you shouldn't spend but but the thing is you this is why you got to know uh the quality of the person you're dating right because it's very different if he met her a different way right on a site yeah. without an in you know without a a matchmaker and a and the vetting of an agency a good agency right uh, he can now have this confidence in knowing that, okay, I can do what I want to do without having worries of being used. You know what I mean? So you guys. Well, even yeah. like in, in Poland, when we were vacationing or, or during our meeting vacation type thing, yeah. 
I mean, I had excursions already all planned out. I had all this stuff printed out and she's like, what's that stack of paper there? And I'm like, this is everything we're doing. And I think she was surprised that I had it all kind of planned out for the most part. And I'm like, there's still plenty of room in there just to go roam and do whatever. I mean, I, I didn't have every detail planned out. Yeah. Um, even when we went shopping, she was just buying things and I'm like, I can get that for you. And she's like, no, nope, I got it. She's all, I'm buying this for me or I'm buying this for family or a friend. Um, I was, there's a lot of things I wasn't picking up, uh, the tab on and then little things like if we're out of store getting water or a snack, um, on whatever excursion we were on. Um, obviously I was just grabbing it. Sometimes she would just like, no, I got it. Um, when I've already got money out and she's like, I got a bunch of coins I need to burn. Um, yeah. So, I mean, right off the bat, it wasn't like, here's a bunch of things. Can you buy this for me? Um, I ran into yeah. that once, um, when I was in Kharkiv and, uh, that was pretty much a huge red flag. Somebody's trying to go shopping and then wreck up. I mean, it wasn't like a lot of money for me. I mean, I think it came out to like 200 bucks total, uh, but it was boatload of stuff like this on a cart. And, and I was like, 200 bucks isn't going to hurt me. I'd probably end up spending it on something stupid anyways that I'll wind up throwing in a corner. So I, I bought it, but that was the end of that relationship. I wasn't going to go down that road because I don't want to be viewed as a wallet. I want to be viewed as I'm here to be able to take care of you, not just to throw money at your every beck and call. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it's definitely a balancing act, you know, um, with, feeling that right if feeling yeah. that they understand and i've that. offered to help out wherever it's like yeah. if you need something let me know uh, i'll take mm -hmm. care of it and she's like no i got it and, and so i don't know if it's more just uh she's i don't have the right word for it. maybe it's modesty it, 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 yeah. it's it's modesty and um it, it's one of the signs that you know that a ukrainian woman was really is planning on a future because she doesn't want to do anything to make you think ill of her you know yeah so it's like these these reasons um and it's a very good sign but like the thing is guys uh my advice is always like just like you did you know you you she offered to pay it back but you rejected that you said no 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 use it for this this and this this is a very good move she's testing you that's her shit test to you yeah <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I've, I've watched enough of the videos that you put out over the years and and just other stuff in general i kind of got the gist of that's kind of what she was doing yeah yeah good and you know if a guy fails that shit test it, it it might not be the end of the world but she just does not it takes away from this feeling of of safety and security of protection of this intent to protect her it's that that's so big for slavs they it's so big for them because of their hard history of hard times, right? So when can I ask you the the big question? When when are you like thinking of tying the knot? Um, I don't know what that to be. The next one is once you're engaged. What's the timeline? I mean, I'm used to all the Western standards. You know, some want to go a year, two years. Some people are engaged for forever before they even get to that point. Um, but I know. From what I've learned over the Ukrainian culture, and usually things happen fairly quickly. Um, I was thinking about more as to where than as a when, because I was thinking more about her family uh, being able to to come to it. And I've been thinking about different areas, maybe Romania or Poland would be the ideal spot because it's the the quickest and easiest for them to get to. Um, well, I got to say, my friend, that the where doesn't matter shit, but the yeah. when. Well, I was thinking when, about her her family. The the when. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what the timeline is for uh, for this normal Ukrainian engagement period. Well, forget uh, about normal. I mean, I can share that with you in a second. But what yeah. what, what are you thinking? I well? mean, if I, if I well, I do this on Christmas Day. I would think maybe by summer would be ideal. It's warm, um, mm -hmm. someplace nice, especially you know, depending on what she's wearing as a dress or whatever, and it makes it easier for people to travel as well. Uh -huh. so, so okay, I figure cool. maybe a six month window, maybe a little before that. Yeah. I mean, I think that's a good idea from what I hear. Um, summer's good when you start saying, you know, like, cause yeah. And I mean, not, uh, well in Europe, like, Oh my gosh, like in all over Europe, boy, people don't get married. They just, they just getting, 
maybe not even get engaged, just live together forever. So when you say the norm, the norm there, but in, in Ukraine, the norm is if you do, um, first of all, the norm is not to get engaged. They still today, uh, it's becoming more and more frequent, but it's still mm -hmm. the norm not to get engaged. But if they do get engaged, it's very quick. It's from engagement to wedding. It's like a few months, month, very quick. <laughs> Just, that's the norm. I still got some time off in my vacation bank, so I think I'll be okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, that sounds good, the summer, and as long as she's good with you know, that. Or even pushing into the early spring uh, yeah. would be good as well. Yeah. Can you say hi to Steve? He was just telling him about him and Maria. Have a seat. Hi, have, have a seat. seat. Have a seat. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <nice. laughs> you know, it's nice to hear your story of you and Maria and how she's not materialistic. I mean, she's just grateful with what what you give her. It's, this is what I want guys to understand. This is a normal Ukrainian yeah. woman. Normal. You know, this is what you can expect. There's other stories. It's just. And it's not that we don't have our, our squabbles or whatever, our disagreements. Uh, the good thing about being a part is you really learn to be able to communicate. And I'm not the best communicator. You can put me in front of a city council and talk all day long. But uh, when it comes to <laughs> trying to do it through the uh, like a relationship aspect. So I've learned to, to speak better and be more directive. Uh, I need something. And or I hear you, you know, and you have to learn to listen uh, mm -hmm. better than what I thought I did. Yeah. That's and here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, we got your photo here. Let's just put it up because I'm sure guys want to know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is first meeting. This is first ah, first meeting. Yeah. Ah, okay. That was in Poland. Mm -hmm. In Poland. So oh, cool. Oh, there you go. You guys got, got a little sun that day. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Very yeah, that day we went to, uh, we took uh, a bus out to, uh, I'm probably going to butcher the name. It was an uh, area called Zakopan up in the mountains close to the uh, uh -huh. Slovakia border or Slovenia, Slo Slovakia border. And they have uh, mineral springs out there. So first we went up and uh, oh, took nice. a ride up to the top of the mountain. Then we went over to the mineral springs for that day. Uh, yeah. That was a pretty cool place. Good luck to you guys. Yeah. yeah. Good luck. Thank you very yeah. much. Yeah. I'll definitely fill in more after the trip. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay. okay. All right. Take care. Bye-bye, okay. guys. Thank you for being with me today. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe to our channel, comment, and share with your friends so we can continue this conversation with you.